Hello my loves, I'm Ellie Frost. Thank you so much for being here where we are talking about the multi-dimensional approach to rapidly and radically healing and transforming during and after narcissistic abuse. And this video is about how the narcissist will always turn on you once they think you're hooked, right? This is the hardest part of this cycle, right? Is that as soon as you have a false sense of security with the narcissist and this generally happens when you've made a big move you might have got married to them you might have moved in with them you might be now financially dependent on them you may have uh, or just been very emotionally attached maybe it's the first time you said that you love them or they said that they loved you um it's always at a point where they think they've got you where they want you that the behavior will turn right the love bombing stage the hoovering stage is all about hooking you in yeah. And the cycle is based on building you up and crashing you down. And the thing is, the highs get lower and the lows get even darker through this cycle. They'll crash you down even further because it's a slow erosion of your self-esteem, your self-worth, your self-identity. Right. As soon as they think you're hooked in again, they'll turn on you and you'll wonder and you might find yourself like I did for years saying, you know, after everything we've been through and all the conversations we've had, because you think the next love bomb or the next Hoover is a, is a indication that they've changed and they'll probably even pretend that they have. But as soon as you're hooked, especially if you're hooked financially, emotionally um, and physically, they'll turn again. They'll, the, the, the abuse will start again. They will um, literally start their psychological warfare um, and other um, terrible behaviour. Um, neglect, um, you know, just terrible, terrible behaviour. They'll be back to their actual real state because the love bombing stage and the hoovering stage is all just, a, it's all a pretense, right? They just do it to get what they want. They're master manipulators, narcissists, right? And I tell my clients all the time that you can't make any mistake that these people know what they're doing. They know how to love bomb you. They know how to hoover you. They know, and if you notice with a narcissist, they'll often really care about what other people think. A great thing to say to a covert narcissist, if you're dealing with one and you want them to back off, is what would people think if they knew that you talked to me like that? Yeah, I've said that before to covert narcissists who have this great network of people around them that are hold flying monkeys and enablers holding up this image of what a great saint, saintly person, that, you know, one of the one I've got in my mind was when actually behind the scenes, he was abusing women left, right and centre, you know, and just a complete and utter narcissist. Um, but on the outside, he was seen as a hero in like certain business communities and stuff. So they're very good at orchestrating an image, right? And they'll tend to turn on you when everyone's back, you know, behind the scenes. You know, this mainly happens like not in front of people. They won't necessarily show this side of them in front of other people, which is what part of the cognitive dissonance is. You know, like we, we can't understand, like, how do we put together the person who's abusing us with the person we thought loved us? And how do we put together the person who's abusing us with who everyone else thinks that they are? And I know my dad, everyone, you know, seemed to think he was a really good guy. But behind the scenes, he was abusive highly abusive and a real bully to me, you know, physically sometimes as well. So, but I mean, you know, how do you put those two people together? Because the treatment you're getting from the narcissist could be very different to what they're giving everyone else. And that, again, just confirms to you that they do know what they're doing. Now, the thing about the narcissist is they know what they're doing. They know it hurts you. They enjoy your pain. They inflict suffering because it gives them a sense of power and control. And they don't care that they hurt you. In fact, they like it. You've got to know this. They don't care. It's, it's so unbelievable to imagine that they really, really don't care that it hurts you. That's the whole point in their mind, right? Because then they've got power over your emotional, um, your emotional being, your emotional body and your emotional response and your emotional reality is your entire reality. It doesn't matter what happens to you as much as how you feel about it, because how you feel about anything on a day to day basis forms your whole life, your whole life experience. So they are trying to control you emotionally as well as often financially, physically, spiritually, psychically. Right. So as soon as they think they've got you hooked after a love bomb stage, after a hoover stage, after they've just met you, after you've moved in, after you've often made, I mean, I've done this, made big financial sacrifices. I, I <laughs> invested heavily, maybe in a business. I've done things like this. I've done all of it. I mean, I've been around the block with narcissism, you know, <laughs> like I really have. I've made every mistake and I've learned every red flag and I've know so much about it because I've lived and breathed, you know, 
I've been the target of it um, for a very long time. And I also would talk to my client today about how, you know, highly empathetic people, highly sensitive people like I am, we are targeted often because we've got a lot of empathy and compassion for people. So we'll always want to hear their point of view and try and understand their side. But that can actually work against us when we work with, when we're around narcissists who are going to use your empathy to manipulate you. So we just got to be very aware, right? So if you like this video, please like, comment, um, share and subscribe. Sovereign is less than half price, guys. You've got to get in. It is, if you think my work's good on YouTube, get into that course because you're going to go deeper. You're going to get healed. You're going to be part of a community where we're all doing like, it, it, there's energy work in there. There's um, short trainings that you can fit into your life. And there's a community of people building their most authentic, abundant lives, right? Which is what we all want next. So please keep um, supporting my channel. Lots of love and I'll speak to you soon.